Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very quick video here showing how you can go ahead and install the latest Android Revolution HD for your HTC One X. So you do know that they have updated to 3.0.0. I was making a video on how you can go ahead and install uh, the Android Revolution HD 1.2.3, but since then they have been giving out some updates uh, like the 1. Point, or I mean uh, the Android Revolution HD 2.0.0. But uh, this time with Android Revolution HD 3.0, it's coming with the HTC's latest update, with it, which is the software update is 1.28. Uh, earlier, we have been running on 1.26. That's been uh, having some problems with the battery and some uh, uh, some some camera problems. Uh, the FPS is better right now. It seems like in this new software update, so you might want to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, I got I got around 23 FPS when I was um, outside before I got like 19. So I think at least it's it's an improvement over there. But I would I would love to see like 30 FPS and hopefully that high quality camera mod uh, just coming back to the HTC One X but anyways how do you go ahead and install this and how did I do it how do you go from Android Revolution HD 1.2.3 to this latest edition well first of all we need to go back or I'm sure if you have to do it like this but this is how I did it um, I went back to the stock RM that I got uh, and uh, flashed uh, or updated to the uh, use the search over the air update. Be aware here, I'm using the international version of the HTC One X when I'm doing this video, but I I, I went back to uh, to 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 the stock RM uh, just by going into uh, as you do know after uh, I've made a video how to root and unlock the bootloader on the HTC One X and immediately after I did that I went to Clockwork Mode Touch recovery it's uh, 5. Point, uh, what kind of version is it right now <clears throat> it's 5.8.2.7 uh, released on 13th of April I'm still running on that but on that date uh, basically uh, or I mean after I, I rooted my and uh, unlocked my HTC One X, I made a backup. So go back into Clockwork Mode Touch, go back to that up, go back uh, to the first update you ever made, the first backup you ever made. Go ahead and restore your phone to that. <clears throat> and what you want to go ahead and do right now? Wait a second, I'm gonna take some cola over here. This is gonna be a long video. I I, I could feel it. Okay, so this is gonna be a shit long video. Okay, where were I? Yeah, I was telling you the story when I was going ahead and restoring uh, my device. So go ahead and restore your device to the latest, uh, or I mean to 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 your original stock or uh, or RM. Be aware here, you still have a root, you still have an unlock bootloader, but go ahead and go there, uh, start up your device again. Uh, go ahead and search for uh, an over-the-air update. And if you can, go ahead and download that over-the-air update 1.28. If you can't find it, then uh, then some, it's some fucked up, bro. But you need to have uh, the international version of the HTC One X. And I know there's some variants out, like in, uh, I think, 3 in like UK. They haven't issued this update all, uh, right now. But uh, if you have the 1.28 update, it should be the 1.28 point four hundred one point nine up that and that was around like twenty eight megabytes for me. Now after you've ins uh, after you downloaded this over the air update, what you want to go ahead and do is that they will say that you need to go ahead and install it right now. Uh, by the way here you can find it. Uh, you go ahead and go to software information. No wait a sec. Oh wait a sec. Software update should be about if you go down to about uh, let's see software information. Should be software update there. I, I mean, I remember when I did this uh, about software updates. Uh, I think it could be as this Android Revolution HD that doesn't have that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you just go down to about and then like make a software update over here. Hardware information. Okay, so after you have downloaded that, you need to go ahead and install it. Now, the tricky part over here is that the first time I tried to install the software update, 
it didn't work and do you know why because we're still running with clockwork mode touch recovery and that's the thing uh, the, the phone will boot into your recovery on your phone uh, and it's gonna try to apply the update but if you're still running on a clockwork mode touch recovery then that's gonna be a effing issue that's gonna be a problem so do you know what you have to do yes that's correct do you know we need to go ahead and uh, and flash it again okay we need to go ahead and flash the original recovery for 1.26 to be able to apply this update now the links for that uh, is gonna be in the description uh, it's basically in the official clockwork mode touch recovery thread you can see a link to the stock 1.26 recovery and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you are running on 1.26 recovery when you're watching this video and there's also a link to the stock 1.28 recovery go ahead and download the 1.26 recovery uh, because we're, we're running on it we want to apply the latest 1.28 recovery so go ahead and um, go ahead and download this in the war recovery sign.img file and go ahead and put it in your platform tools folder because as you do know we have already installed the Android SDK uh, and it should be uh, in here uh, on, 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 on our disk over here um, uh, our local disk uh, as you can see over here uh, we should be able to have it yeah the Android SDK uh, and this is something that uh, the Android SDK that's something that we already installed in the video on how to root it so go ahead and put it into the platform tools folder just to make it very simple as you can see in the platform tools folder um, I have that file uh, over there uh, the end, uh, the recovery, the stock recovery 1.26. Go ahead and then put it in that folder. Go ahead and reboot your phone in in into 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 fast boot mode. Um, you just go ahead and hold down the power button once you start up and the volume down button. Go ahead and hold that in. Then you will see the fast boot option. You just go ahead and click on the power button to select that. And uh, be sure that you have connected uh, your HTC One X to your computer. Now, you just go ahead and go to um, CMD and you just, uh, I mean CMD and go ahead and navigate to that folder platform tools and then you just want to go ahead and type in fast boot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery file. Very 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 simple. So when once you have uh, done that, I mean let's uh, let's go ahead and do that just because we we can Oh my god, I have so much stuff to open up here. But you just go ahead and type in the C. CD, of course, to navigate. And then it's, it's on our C. Uh, C drive, probably on yours too. Uh, and then you just type in SDK. And then we have the folder platform dash tools. Wait a sec. I always do something wrong here. Uh, if you're new there and doing a lot of things wrong, you can just go ahead and go to the platform tools folders, copy and paste uh, the link up here, you know, copy and paste that. And then you just type in CD and then you just copy, right click, and paste in. So when you are in the platform tools folder, okay as you see over there uh, you just gonna type in fast boot flash recovery fast boot flash recovery and then the recovery file um, recovery end of all recovery sign the 1.26.img I changed the na name there at the end so I know that that's the file. Go ahead and copy and paste that in just like that and then you hit enter and go. So now when you have the stock uh, 1.26 recovery you can just go ahead and uh, apply the over the air update and uh, be sure or I mean be aware here we're still running on root and have like the unlock booter but we don't have clockwork one touch but now uh, you should be you should be able to go ahead and um, and, and and reboot your device you should be able to run here on the stock ROM 1.28 we don't have the the, the, the clock up mode touch recovery but uh, at least uh, go ahead and see if your if your smartphone is up and running and everything um, so if if it's up and running and everything and uh, then I can tell you that that is some awesome news for you 
because now we can go ahead and um, go ahead and, and, and turn the device off go ahead and go into recovery again uh, and uh, or I mean the, the fast boot mode and uh, basically what you want to go ahead and do now is you want to go ahead and uh, flash uh, the clock up mod touch recovery again um, so you just type in fast boot flash recovery and then the clock up mod touch name um, just as we did with the, with the other the stock recovery uh, and then now when you have the clockwork mod touch recovery install what you want to go ahead and do is, is, is very simple first of all you just want to go ahead and download the latest uh, Android Revolution HD and uh, what's so special with Android Revolution HD well uh, it comes uh, with some fixes here uh, playing Tiger 3 games should be more optimized right now and, and be a little bit smoother they have some speed improvements uh, HD sense isn't crashing anymore beats audio is better uh, and nonsense widget scrolling is not smooth uh, Wi-Fi drivers uh, or I mean new Wi-Fi drivers the new kernel build 1.28 uh, added a Rabbit if you are Rabbit uh, and here is the thing. Uh, first, you need to go ahead and flash. Okay, we are on clock up mode touch now again. So, what you want to go ahead and do right now is that you want to go ahead uh, um, to flash a file, also the boot image, uh, actually, like the bootloader image of Android Revolution HD 3.0, as well uh, as with the, the, the ROM, the zip file. So, uh, what you need to go ahead and do now is you want to go back into fast boot basically on, on, on your device and you want to go ahead and type in uh, fast boot flash, uh, fast boot flash boot, and then the boot image. Now, the boot image that you will be able to download for the Android Revolution HD 3.0, uh, it's going to be called like um, boot underscore 3.0.0 dot img so type in that uh, fast boot uh, flash boot and then the name of the file boot dot uh, boot underscore 3.0.0 go ahead and flash that in so uh, and now we have that ready to go so what you want to go ahead and do right now is that you want to just go ahead and and, and 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 I know there's a command for that to go ahead and restart the bootloader in, in fast boot but go ahead and like restart your device uh, now you just want to go ahead and go back into clockwork mode touch and uh, once you're in there we are first going to use the super wipe script it's basically going to go ahead and quickly format your data and erase like the system in cache uh, partitions and stuff like that so make sure you have all of those things backed up already so go ahead and use the super wipe script uh, go ahead and put uh, both the super wipe script and the uh, Android Revolution HD 3.0.0 ROM both on your zip card <clears throat> and uh, go ahead and go back to clock remote touch go and install zip from SD card first apply the super wipe um, super wipe uh, script and then go ahead and go back and uh, you will see the text after you have installed Super Wipe uh, that's gonna say like okay now you're ready to install Android Revolution HD through with open though so go ahead now and install it from SD card pick the Android Revolution HD 3.0.0 uh, and uh, it, it should finish up uh, in no time also something that I forgot to mention is that uh, after um, after apply uh, after I applied this uh, boot image the Android Revolution HD boot image in fast boot, uh, you know, typing in fast boot flash boot the boot image name. Uh, I went and uh, typed in like a uh, fast boot clear cache. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Uh, but uh, I don't think this is something that you have to do. But uh, I mean, if, if you want to, you can go ahead and do so. You can also go ahead and clear the cache in uh, in the clock remote touch as well, of course. Uh, but apply the super wipe script, uh, then install the Android Revolution HD 3.0.0 zip <coughs> from clock remote touch, and then you should basically be able. Uh, I mean, ready, be ready to go and uh, be able to have some fun with with your new Android Revolution HD. So I hope this video helped you out at least a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure people are still gonna ask questions in the comments. I actually been <coughs> haven't been having time to go ahead and try it out, but uh, uh, I haven't noticed any lag or something. So hopefully it will be pretty decent. So 
And also, he has to make sure that I'm running on Android Revolution HD, if you don't blame me. About software information. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. As you see right now. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. As you see, uh, Android Revolution HD 3.0. So hopefully um, I have helped you out in this video and if I didn't then F you because this was a long video to do. Bye bye.